Hi, I'm Antoine Mottier, Technical Evangelist at Bonita Soft, and in this video I will show you how to use Bonita Engine REST API. You can use Bonita Engine REST API to do various tasks, such as get information about the deploy process, start a new process, or get information about Bonita users. In this video I will use two different tools. I will use Bonita Studio to get a test environment, and I will use the tool Postman that you can download for free to perform some REST requests. You can, of course, use any other kind of tools such as Curl or even your own custom development, for example, in .NET to work with Bonita API. So let's get started. And I will first create a new diagram that I will use for my demonstration here. So just a very basic process with one single task. I will deploy this process using this uh, run button here, and this will be deployed in my local uh, Bonita Studio test environment. So you can see here, it's run locally on localhost, and it's listening on port 8080, and the name of the web application is Bonita, of course. And in order to learn about how to use Bonita API, I will also have some reference here to the documentation to guide you if you need uh, later on to refer to the documentation. So the first step when you use the REST API is to perform the authentication. So in the documentation, you should go in development, REST API, and you have this REST API overview page that will provide information about how you should perform the authentication. So you can see here the URL you should call. Uh, it should be a post request on this URL. You have the content type specified, but more than most important thing is you will need to specify your username and a password. So in this demonstration, I'm using Bonita Studio. So I have a test organization that include my test user, Walter Bates, and with the default password BPM. So I will use that for my authentication. So let's get into Postman here and try to do this first request to perform the authentication. So first I should select the post option here I will copy the URL I get from launching my process here previously. And I will add the login service at the end, the service I want to call. And as part of uh, this call, I should put some content. So I will go in body here, select this form URL encoded and provide the two information requested here in the documentation. So username and password. So username, as I said, is my test user, Walter Bates, and the password is BPM. And now I'm ready to send this, this request and I should get an answer 200 here. Okay, so that is fine. And if I check what I get back as part of the header here, uh, sorry, not in the header, but as part of the uh, body here, I have a cookie that has been set with this Xbonita API token. This is actually the a token that will be required for all subsequent REST API calls to perform the authentication. Actually, you will just need to include this as part of your of the headers of the request you will perform to benefit from the authentication we did just right now. So let's do a second REST API call here. I will create another new request and I will get information about my process. I will search for the process I deploy. So I have a process that is deployed that is named pool. It's a default name. So I can check in the BPM here, a BPM API in the documentation. I have information about how to get uh, to search for process. So you can see here, we have this entry search for a process and it's give me the URL to call, the methods that should be used and the parameter of the, the request. So let's get started and do this call right now. So I put the path for the request don't forget to add the full URL, so my local server on 
on port 8080 and with the Bonita application. But most important is to include the authorization information, sorry, the, um, in the header here. Uh, I should add my, uh, my token for authentication so I can reuse it from here. Uh, got the name. and the value okay and one last thing here i'm searching for a process name pool so i add this in the url parameter and now it should be all set to run the request and you can see here the result of my request this is a json array with one object that's Include all, that include all the information about the process I deployed. So I can see when I deploy it, I can see the ID of the user who deployed the process, and I can get the ID of the process definition that has been deployed. So now with all this information, we can perform a second call to the REST API, for example, to start this process. So let's take a look again at the documentation here. If I scroll down, you will see that I have a REST API to start a process using what we call an instantiation contract. So contract is a way to provide data, user data to the process. Here in my very basic example, I don't have any data, uh, but in case you have some, uh, you can just provide them in the request using this uh, JSON syntax. As previously, I will copy the URL to call. Just get back to Postman here, create a new request. You can see this one is to start a process. So it will be um, a post request. Provide the URL here. You can see I should provide here the process ID so I can reuse what I get from my previous call here. And I will include, as usual, the address of the server. So I have the proper URL to call, the proper method. I need to think about the authentication here. So again, this uh, X Bonita API token, the value. And now I'm all set. Just in case you're using a contract, don't forget, go to the body, choose a row option here, and it should be a JSON uh, for the content type. And now I'm uh, ready to send this request. And you can see that I get uh, the status 200 OK here. And the answer to my REST API call is the ID of the newly created process instance, the case ID. So now if I go to Bonita portal and check that, I should have one task pending. Here it is, is the one that belongs to the process I just start. So that's it for this quick overview about how to use Bonita APIs. So remember in the documentation, if you go under development REST API, you can find information about authentication in REST API overview. And you have information about various API available. Probably the most useful is the BPM API. It's let you start process, gets a list of pending tasks and so on. But also very useful APIs that you'll probably use when you're creating forms for your users are BDM API related to business data get some business data out of your uh, process or out of the BDM database and also identity API to get information about the users in the Bonita database. One thing also about the API is when you search, there is a dedicated section in the REST API overview about how you should, uh, what kind of syntax to use when you're searching for a resources using the REST API. So thanks for watching this video. Feel free to leave a comment 
or ask your question on Bonitasoft community website.